At least kiss him. <gasps> okay, it's not midnight, but that's fine. We can pretend it is. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. This is episode 49, by the way. And to start us off, uh, I have realized that it is impossible to get rid of the- Oh, you know what? I was sitting here trying to delete that for so long a second ago, and the second I start recording, I come in and I can just pick it up. Okay, maybe no, I can't anymore. No, I can't. That's embarrassing. I literally spent so long trying to get rid of that before I started recording and then I was like, haha, I'll show it off in the recording. People will love that. And then it worked. So I've wasted time. Anyway, welcome back. Couple big updates. It's actually Tabitha's birthday, so she's gonna age up into a teen today. Terry is gonna age up into a young adult today, and it's also New Year's Eve in game, so I was thinking we could have some sort of big party tonight. It feels appropriate given the fact that it is a holiday. Cam's not gonna die yet, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> however, the cat, the raccoon, however you want to call it, um, it might die today. It's an elder, and I don't have high hopes, because you know what? Sims don't last very long around these parts. Just get it out of the way early, address the elephant in the room, we all know it's coming. <laughs> it's time we just accept our fate and prepare ourselves emotionally. But you know what? I was actually gonna have her watch TV, but maybe I'll play with the pet instead. Play with laser pointer, that'll be good. That'll get your fun up too, see? Two birds, one stone, it works. And then the cat won't run away, because that would be sad. I wouldn't like that very much. Okay, one thing thing I did want to like actively work on though is trying to finish this or at least get a couple more badges. I would very much like it if she could be successful in her scouting before she grows up and she's gonna grow up today so <laughs> I know you're sad but can you like do a couple more paintings? I think you need like two more. That would be great. Meanwhile, should I just age up Tabby now? I would hate to have her age up automatically like on her own later. Yeah, maybe I'll have Cam make her a cake. Sim City cheesecake? Perhaps? Yeah, I just feel so bad when they age up by themselves and they get all all sad because their birthday got forgotten and then I'm like yeah you know I've really done a lot to make your life miserable what more can I do and then I, I just yeah I'm gonna be nicer today <laughs> today my goal is to make my sims happy oh god <laughs> And then immediately my sim's dead husband calls and wants to go to breakfast. I kind of- wait, 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 back up. I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Let's get breakfast at Lighthouse Bar and Grill so we can talk about it. Our loss- okay, Gerald's brother died yesterday after we kissed him. And now Gerald is calling me from beyond the grave so we can talk about it. Do you know, in real life this would be quite a scary phone call to receive, however it's the sims. And Gerald does not care because he's dead and he doesn't know. Well, we are hungry and a bit smelly. Looking good though, Gerald. It's very good to see you. Didn't he and Gerald come here on like their first date? That's kind of sad. <laughs> I feel a bit bad right now, I'm not gonna lie. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What? Do you know what? I don't know. I mean, I, that's like a spa day thing, right? But he's never been to a spa. Not once in his life. Okay, shall we get some alien juice? I don't know. Let's get some coffee. Oh, the menu's quite small here. <laughs> I don't really want clam chowder for breakfast. <laughs> Coffee and clam chowder. Mmm, that's lovely. Do you know what I miss, Gerald? You know what, for some reason, I don't think Cam looks very happy right now. Oh no, he, he's fine. Don't worry. We're gonna be here all day. It takes so long. I also never finished making breakfast for my kid. Like, I was supposed to bake that cake. I didn't. I left before I did. You learned that Gerald's unemployed, really? <laughs> It's almost like he's dead or something. Okay, I should make a resolution. I think I might have my resolution be to get promoted. Gerald, you can't haunt things at the restaurant. You're making us look bad. Do you know what? I never use this item. Great wall of bubbles. Maybe we should use it more often. How much does it cost? 315? It looks kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't help that you can't really see it because there's like the frosted glass behind it because it's so cold outside, but you know. Are you running away because the place is haunted? I'm sorry. I really came here and just started tormenting everybody, huh? Oh, Cam could be at work right now. Um, I might make Cam go to work. He's gonna die soon, so in my humble opinion, it is in everyone's best interest if Cam goes to work today to get some extra hours in. Oh, now he's sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cam, he really walked as far as he possibly could to do that. He was really trying to delay that, and I can't say I blame him, but like, you could have sped up the process there, buddy. Okay, have fun working hard. Oh, well now Terry's at Scouts as well. Okay, do you want to fix this? Perhaps, is the cake done? Is it just gone? Right. Okay, maybe you could make a cake for your sister. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, I can't fix it. I'm just gonna replace it. Make a resolution to raise a skill. Oh, she was gonna get like a really fancy cheesecake and now she's gonna get a bad quality like 
like box cake made by her older sister. All because I had their dad go on a date with a ghost. <laughs> and then work on a holiday when he's like inches away from death as well. I'm sorry. Oh, the festival of snow has started. Gerald would have loved that. Oh, we got a hundred simoleons and performance gain small. Oh, yeah, keep it up. Okay. Well, now I'm thinking, what if we had Terry go on a date to the Festival of Snow tonight? Why are you sleeping? Here, come blow out the candles. It's your time to shine, bestie. Tabby, you get to age up today. It's very exciting stuff. Come on, let's go. Oh no, I have to randomize the traits again. <laughs> Okay, every time I get so worried, just fine, go. Oh, foodie, foodie and creative. She's got like the best of both worlds from both her parents. That's really sweet. Maybe I'll give her like the painting aspiration or something. Hey, oh, I wanna see what she looks like because she was adopted. Pretty, oh my God, she's really pretty. I really liked her short hair, but I'm, should we change it up and give her something new or should we keep it? I'm not sure. I did really like her short hair though. Like, I think she looks really pretty like that. This is her sleepwear, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, it's always their sleepwear. I'm gonna use the realm of magic earrings. I really like them. <gasps> Wait, she looks so cool. Okay, I love this outfit. This is a really nice top. It's from Snowy Escape. There was some really good cast in Snowy Escape. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, do you know what I just realized? We're gonna have to redo like everybody's bedroom. All the bedrooms in the house are for like toddlers. <laughs> I still haven't redone any of them. Yeah, we really need to. None of these are what I'm looking for. Wait, maybe that's cool. Doesn't look very like teenage like though. <laughs> it's fancy and she looks really good, but maybe this would be better. Oh, I like the red actually or the purple. No, that's fun. I like that better. I don't think I've ever seen this in my life. I totally did not know this top existed. That happens a lot. There's so much stuff nowadays that like, it's really easy to miss things now that exist. So I'll be like scrolling through cast and they'll randomize into an outfit and I'm like, what? since when have we had that? Oh my, okay, maybe not keep that one. Maybe we'll change out of that. <laughs> it's a great look though, love it so much. Oh, I really like this Sim. Guys, we might've picked the wrong heir. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We picked Terry before she was even born to be the heir because we liked her name, so it's fine. We made our bed and now we'll lie in it. You gotta admit, Terry Bell is a funny name. It's one of those things where I'm like, oh, we picked the wrong sim and you're all in the comments like, no, there's no we in this. <laughs> you did this, Kayla. <laughs> I wish this top tucked in. Oh, for some reason those earrings are tagged really weird. Like these aren't tagged as being for hot or cold weather, but they're just earrings. Like why? Okay, I think my Sim's all dressed up now. I'll probably give Terry makeover when she gets a little bit older. Oh, look at her little Scouts uniform. She's almost done with Scouts because she's gonna grow up so fast. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Wait, Fabian wants to hang out tonight. I was gonna try and finish the painting, but like we've been invited out on New Year's Eve by a boy and it's also our birthday. I think that we have no choice but to go. I forget it. Forget scouts. <laughs> we don't care about being set up for a good life. We want dates with boys who are not good for us, apparently. I really like him though. No, change out of this. Change out of this, please, please, please. Okay, I should probably go inside. It's a bit cold and I put her in her party wear, so come on in. Come here. Is it really ghost night or are there just a lot of ghosts in the town? Oh, it's Brant! Hey! Tell joke about professors. Share New Year's Eve excitement. Discuss interests. <laughs> should I make her New Year's resolution be to get a significant other? I think it should be. My goal this year is to date somebody. <laughs> Hang on, everyone, I have really bad news. I have just been notified by Twitter that my request to be verified has been denied again. That's three times they've denied me. I probably just don't tweet enough or they don't like me. Both super valid Twitter, I get it. However, could you at least tell me why next time? <laughs> oh, they could be so cute together. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. They haven't even flirted at all yet, have they? <gasps> oh, never mind. They have now. Can you go away? Oh, Catherine Bell, that's her aunt. I didn't even realize her aunt was sitting at the table. <laughs> She's trying to be on a date on New Year's Eve. This is the second time this has happened with Catherine specifically, where poor Terry has been trying to be on a date, and then her like the, the cool aunt is like, no, I'll sh I'll chaperone. <laughs> Gosh, could you imagine? Oh, now it's awkward because her aunt is still in the conversation. Please, Catherine, I need you to leave, please. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Maybe I'll like literally make her leave. It's not a bad idea. Catherine, please. Like, I kind of want to actually get him to date me. Should I say I like blues music? Oh, that's so cute. She's on her like her first real date and they're playing blues music and now she's gonna love it for the rest of her life. <laughs> I like the likes and dislikes. They're kind of fun. Okay, she was feeling very flirty. Now she has to pee. That's that's fine. At least kiss him. At least kiss him. <gasps> okay, it's not midnight, but that's fine. We can pretend it is. Okay, please, Terry, go, 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 go pee, go pee, go pee. Please, Terry, run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Stop talking to him. Don't pee 
your pants. That would be so bad. What? Why are you in there? Stop. Oh God. Oh God. Terry, please, 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 please. Terry. I don't know why I just panicked so much about that. I was like, I really don't want her to pee her pants right now though. That would be super inconvenient. Do you know what? I did a renovation of this place. That was in 2020. Really? I swear I did it like two months ago. Oh. Time flies. Okay, well, it's the same, but like a little bit different, you know? So <laughs> I think that's better. Oh, and I kicked everybody out by replacing the lot. Cool. Where did, where did he go? Hello? Oh, and now I lost the boy. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll just go home. This has not really gone according to plan. She did kiss somebody though, so that's cute. I could bring him home. Just an idea. Maybe he could meet my parents. Just saying. Oh, it's my sister's birthday. I really need to make the cake. Oh god, I need to make the cake. <gasps> Don't let me forget this time. I keep getting distracted. Okay, no wait, I did age her up. Oh, never mind. How did I forget that? Oh, oh, I'm feeling like a mess. Okay, you need to make a resolution too. Perhaps you want to raise a skill. I always pick raise a skill because it's like the easiest one. Ooh. They're both here. Okay, maybe we could like age them up too. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to just do it now while they're here? Okay, I'm gonna age up Fabian, I think. What just happened? Oh, Tia completed her resolution. Okay, that's fine. I'm pretty sure she she made some hamburgers or something. Did it work? Stop talking to me and go blow out the birthday cake. Okay, maybe I'll just age myself up first. Uh-oh. Wait, something is happening? I think it's because of the cat. <sighs> okay, blow out the candles. It's ba- No, not- No, no, you did not just- No, no. It's Terry's birthday! She's trying to- oh. She's trying to blow out the candles on her birthday cake and then you had to go catch the toilet on fire. And now she had to age up by herself? Are you kidding me? Did she even age up? No, she never finished. Oh, oh Terry, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, let me just cross my fingers and hope that the third trait is not as bad as the first two traits because this is not looking good for us. Ready? Three, two, one. Genius! Oh my god, she's an evil genius. Well, she's not evil, but you know, basically is. She steals things from innocent people. I'm so excited. Okay, add some more birthday candles. Let me see if I can actually age up probably in now. There we go. This time it worked. Should I go check in cast to see what his third trait is? I think I might do that first. This could be a game changer. I I don't know. I mean, he already hates children, so he can't get much worse. <laughs> I can't believe I'm spending time trying to date this guy. Like, what is wrong with me? Lactose intolerant? Oh my god. <laughs> the worst trait of them all. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. It's not actually a bad trait in The Sims, though it is moderately annoying. I just can't believe that exists as a trait. Like, you have three personality descriptors in The Sims 4, and that's one of them. Like, I don't know. <laughs> It's fine. It could be worse. He could be evil. Okay, I know I'm trying to celebrate the holiday and stuff, but I also kind of really badly want- what's happening? Oh my god. Oh my god. I- I was gonna say why is it- why- why can't I go into cast? <laughs> because my cat is dying? I hate this game. Oh, we knew it was gonna happen today too. We knew it was gonna happen today. I'm not emotionally prepared for this right now. Bubblegum, you were the best. I just loved you so much and now you're dead. I took a picture of the dead cat. Why did I do that? Please, Grim, just take Take them away. I can't. I can't deal with this right now. I don't want to look at it. I loved bubblegum. Oh, man, this is the worst. This is the actual worst. I'm so sad. Okay, I'm gonna have Terry join a career while we wait here. Um, I'm gonna put her in the criminal career. I thought it would be fun. Nine simoleons an hour. That sucks. We're gonna be relying heavily on daddy's money for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, because this is not looking good for us. We also could probably try to get married fast. Maybe that would help. And I have to replace the toilet. Okay, well, I'm gonna send everybody to bed for now. I'll probably redo their rooms in the morning. I mean, for the most part, Tabitha's could probably stay pretty similar. We'll just get rid of some of the toys. Fabian is still here. Oh no, the Grim Reaper is still here. That's why it's not speeding up. The Grim Reaper was trying to watch TV at my house. Oh God, we missed watching the New Year's countdown as well because the cat died. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, Cam, can you go back to bed? Thanks. Appreciate that, buddy. Okay. It is finally spring, which means the world's gonna start looking a little bit less sad and ugly. Although this morning, I thought it would be kind of fun if we adopted a dog. Look, I know that Bubblegum only just died. <laughs> Mere seconds ago. However, I am sad and I want to replace Bubblegum. So as soon as Terry wakes up, I'm gonna adopt a dog. It's also prank day, which is good for her. She loves that. This is like Terry's time to shine. We need to get disliked by two Sims still. I guess I could go bother people at the park or something. Maybe we adopt the dog, bring the dog to the park with the whole family. 
because it's a Sunday. And then Terry can run around tormenting people. Seems like the perfect day to me. <laughs> okay. No, not a delivery. I'm in a service. Oops. Hire a service. Adopt a dog. I would prefer, if possible, to have the ugliest dog here. However, none of these are really, um, speaking to me, so... That's just a greyhound. They aren't- they look a lot scarier in the picture than they actually are. Bullet is a pug. Oh, French Bulldog, Scottish Terrier, Irish Wolfhound, Irish Wet and White Setter. Is that what Turtle was? No, but close. I kind of want to come meet Axel. I mean- <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, well, now I have to. Forget it. No other option. This is the one. Look at you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Okay, okay. Give a treat. Pet. Praise. Get to know. Offer friendship. Axel's a couch potato. Oh, God. <laughs> I want this puppy so bad. Look how small. You could walk underneath the TV stand. That's how small you are. Oh my god, I'm adopting this dog. I'm I can't. I'm adopting this dog. There's no there's no other choice. We have to. Yeah. Consider that pet adopted. 100%. I'm going to try and randomize the name. So far, the one that amused me the most was Asparagus. Oh, it just randomized the name Bubblegum. Don't you know that Bubblegum just died? Smeegy. Smeagol. No. Cooper with a K. Cinnamon. <laughs> Nougat. Oh, no. I can't. I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. We had a pet called Turtle. What if we call this one, like, Lizard? No. Frog. <gasps> Frog. Frog the dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, okay, that's perfect. I'm really excited now. I'm not even sad about bubblegum anymore. Totally over it. That's not true. Okay, I think I'm gonna give Terry a little bit of a makeover. I was thinking about giving her a tattoo once she turned 18. Oh my god, this one looks like her sister's shirt. Maybe she's got a tattoo for her sister. I really like that actually. I think that's really cute. Perhaps a flower for Gerald. Oh no, maybe that can be for Gerald. And the flower can be like for her grandma or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she just likes the flower. We can always give her more tattoos once she's a little bit older too. We can kind of like pretend that she's gotten them over time. I suppose the Sims and also playing on short lifespan don't really lend themselves well to that, but we can pretend. She's really pretty, isn't she? I'm so excited. I was thinking about maybe changing her hairstyle. I like the idea of this dream home decorator one. Oh, she looks really pretty. I say we go for it. I don't really want to change her clothes yet. I kind of like them. Yeah, I think we dressed her well. She could probably keep these for a bit. I really like this outfit. That looks so good on her. Good job, past Simsy. Maybe some earrings? I don't know. <laughs> I like her. I really like Terry. Now just the simple task of um, redoing her bedroom and also probably building a new house this week because we are gonna need one for the new generation. Now that Terry's a young adult, like we're kind of passing the baton, switching over to the next gen, so she probably deserves a little bit better than the smallest room in the house. And to be fair, her siblings are gonna move out soon, so maybe I'll just get rid of some of this kid stuff quickly. That's perfect. There's Tabitha's room. I'm just gonna switch it so that Tia's room is upstairs. I'll probably keep a lot of the existing stuff. Maybe just swap it around so that we can give the new heir a bigger bedroom with an ensuite or something. I was kind of thinking about trying to use the kit. That's the stone we have outside. We could probably mimic that inside on the back wall. I don't know. <laughs> Seems fine to me. I don't want to spend too much money, but I feel like something like this could be a good start for now. And then we can always like, you know, add on to it eventually once we feel more comfortable spending more. <laughs> but that's a good, a good place for her to have her own space downstairs. But now, like I said, I would kind of like to go to the park and bother people. So I'm bringing the whole family. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cute actually that we're all here. Mischief spirit is all we got to do for the holiday. Hello, Naomi. I'm sorry. Like genuinely, I'm sorry I'm about to do this to you. <laughs> oh, she's pregnant. Oh, I'm sorry. She is pregnant. I walked up to the pregnant lady and started trying to harass her. What is wrong with me? I didn't notice she was pregnant when she was sitting down, okay? Oh, you you're pretty. Let's be rude. Oh, level three of the mischief skill. See? What? I gained a sentiment with her from that. I tricked her with a hand buzzer. <laughs> and she said it's been wonderful to spend time with you. Okay. Sure. Oh my god, I'm gonna fight her. It gave me the option. I just took it and ran with it. Oh, she beat me up. Oh my god, she beat me up. Get that smug look off your face. I know I started it, but I didn't deserve that. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh no. You know what? I think on that note, I might end this part right here. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Okay, well, I guess stay tuned for a new house build very soon. I'm really sorry about bubblegum, but look, it's the circle of life. It's happened before, it's gonna happen again. Just hopefully it won't happen to, to Frog for a while because he's a puppy. It always sucks when my Sims pets die. It's like the worst part of this game. I know I could get them like treats so they never die, but I'm not gonna like age them down or anything. It's not worth it. We'll just cry about it every few weeks when it happens to us. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Every few weeks isn't even an exaggeration. Like, that's accurate. Isn't that sad?